What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fortnite Marketing, and welcome to day nine of Brazemus 2023. In yesterday's video, we talked about how custom event properties are not visible on the user profile page. Well, we are glad you are here today because we will explore the one place in the Braze dashboard called Event User Logs, where you can see custom event property values, which can be very helpful for QA purposes and just overall get an idea of the data that we're working with. I think Event User Logs is one of the most important yet underutilized features of Braze. Whenever I see a team that doesn't have event user logs set up or isn't using it regularly, that's usually the first suggestion that I make. And if that is the case for your team, then you found the right video. Let's get started. Before we can take you to that one place, we need to first set up what's called an internal group under settings, internal groups, and that page looks like this. Internal groups are how you manage internal test groups in Braze. And every dashboard has one created by default called internal group. But to go through the process of creating one, let's click internal, create internal group on the top right corner. And when you create an internal group, there are three capabilities you can assign to the group. Record user events, which is what we'll talk about today and what I think is the most important underutilized feature in Brace. Content test group and email seed group, which we will talk about in a future video. Let's name our internal test group, Nike Brace test group and enable just the first option for today and click create internal group. But even if you accidentally enable the other two, don't worry because they are very easy to turn on and off on the, on the next page here. And now that we've created the internal group, we need to add members to this group to serve as test users. And it's a good idea to include every internal member who works with Braze, including marketing, engineering, and even the support team. And I can also see the support team adding consumer profiles who are having issues receiving or not receiving messages from Nike. So let's search for my user profile with my email. There I am. We have to give myself a name. So Alan, name this test user. Click add test user. All right, so we are done with our setup. We now have an internal group called Nike Braze Test Group that is, that is enabled for record user events for group members with my own user profile added as a user. That means that moving forward, any SDK or API events that happen to any profile in this internal group, just mine in our case, gets logged with details on a page called event user log. And it's time to check out my favorite page in Braze under settings, event user log. Here we are, and there's nothing in there right now. And this is another reason why it's so important to set up internal groups as soon as possible, because you cannot access data events that happened in the past. It's only for events moving forward after setting up the internal group. So the sooner you have it set up, the more access you'll have to data logs. Anyway, let's say I'm back on the Nike page and clicked on specific modules like this basketball one. And our concern yesterday was not knowing exactly which module was clicked on because our custom event name is simply clicked underscore module and we depended on the event properties to get more details. So I'm going to click this basketball module and here I am given some basketball related products. And back on our user profile page, you can see that I performed clicked module uh, just a few seconds ago, but once again, no context. I do not know which module that was clicked. Well, finally, we can see the event user logs populate with my recent activity that happened just now, which is exactly the custom event clicked module that I performed. And if we click raw data, we can see all other properties that came along with it, including the module name and category name. So now the Braze team at Nike now can determine exactly which modules were clicked on by my user profile. And this is helpful because now I have a better understanding of the event properties that are associated with this custom event called clicked module. And I can use this knowledge to further segment or personalize my retargeting messages. For example, I can set up an email campaign that's triggered by the custom event clicked module that's only sent to users who clicked on modules under shop by sport. And that subject line can say interested in event property module name which will render as interested in basketball for my personalized email. And once again, if you don't already have event user log set up, please make sure to get it set up as this page will be tremendously helpful for many situations in the future. 
There is one other place in the dashboard that I'd like to highlight under data settings and custom events. Um, if you find clicked module and go to the three dots and click manage properties, you can actually see the properties associated with this custom event. So here we have our category name, module name, and these two are just test properties I passed in earlier. Um, however, you can only see the property names and their data types and not the property values like we saw basketball and shop by sport on the event user logs. That's it for day eight. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. If you learned the video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.